It is Friday, May 26th. This is News 8 Now. I'm David Bowman. One man is dead after a single vehicle crashed this morning. It happened just after 3 at the I-80 westbound off-ramp to I-74 eastbound. Police say a livestock trailer lost control, went off the roadway. Dozens of cattle were then loose in the area, which caused two other crashes. Everyone in those crashes are okay this morning. At last check, the off-ramp is now back open. Moline police are making a big bust, taking several pounds of drugs off the streets. The special investigations group, along with this guy, K-9 Riggs, arresting one person with more than four pounds of meth, about an ounce of cocaine and four ounces of pot and a handgun. Moline police say that K-9 Riggs was rewarded with a quick game of catch and then was back to work. It is warming up again out there in the Quad Cities, but the biggest heat wave is yet to come. So let's check in with meteorologist Andrew Stutsky for a check of the forecast. Hey there, David. Yeah, we've had some real nice, comfortable days lately, but that is going to be changing as we step into the upcoming weekend. Still nice and comfy tonight, though, by the way. Windows back open. We're only down to 50. Just maybe an extra blanket or two on the bed if you're going to be doing that. Tomorrow, though, it's further into the 80s we go. It's a mostly sunny day. If you can find some shade to take a little bit of a break, it should still be comfortable because again, we're not talking about any humidity moving in quite yet, but boy, are we going to be seeing the 90s move in and a lot of those we're actually tracking it right now on both the News 8 and the Storm Track 8 app. Some mid 90s. Plus, if you tap that app, you'll actually be able to see how much longer this dry stretch of weather is going to last. So go ahead and get in the app. Start planning your big, long Memorial holiday weekend. The app will help you do just that. David. All right, Andrew, thank you. And with Memorial Day coming up, dozens of volunteers help place flags at the, the Rock Island National Cemetery. More than 36,000 graves of fallen soldiers were given flags, with people of all ages coming together to help out. Many volunteers say that they have a friend or family member that have served, with younger volunteers saying that they value honoring our nation's heroes. When I was younger, people told me that kids couldn't make a difference, so I love just being able to go out and make a difference to something that's so close to home because my family was in the military, and I love seeing so many different people and so many different generations coming and honoring. The flags are for the Memorial Day ceremony Monday morning at 1045. And that is all the time we have for News 8 Now. Be sure you stay in the know while you're on the go by downloading the News 8 app in your Apple App Store or by downloading it on Google Play.